Season three is finally here and it's uh, it's all right. But a new season means new weapons. And today we'll be getting the Intervention Orion. Now, technically, it's not called the Intervention. This is the FJX Imperium. But it's basically the Intervention. Let's be real. Uh, I haven't really found a class that I like for it much, but we did get this leveled up on stream. Shout out to those of you that come by the streams. Really do appreciate it. But for now, this is the class I'm going to be using for. I'll probably tweak some things here and there as we go. But every time new weapons are added into the game, we also get new camos. So here are the new camos for the FJX Imperium. We have the Arctic Growth and we need to get 50 kills to get it. Already got it done. Easy. Not the best looking camo though. Kind of gross. We have the sticks camo, great band, but uh, this is getting two kills within 10 seconds of each other, kind of like double kills, but I think it's more of an extended period, but we have to do that 20 times. This camo's all right, not bad. Not, not the worst. Uh, we also have Psychoactive, which is I think would be a really nice camo if it wasn't so scratched up. Uh, we have like the white accent here with uh, the little Psychoactive. I don't even know how to explain it. I think the name covers it perfectly. But the, the Psychoactive secondary color, it looks really good. Uh, I hope that there's a blueprint for this weapon or something that we can throw this on there and it not be scratched. But right now it's kind of disappointing. And then we have the Bedlam camo, which is get 40 one shot, one kills with it which shouldn't be too hard. This gun already one shots, you know, pretty consistently from like torso and up. So it shouldn't be too difficult. And then when we're done with that, we need to get three kills without dying with it 10 times. Uh, also our 25 long shots, which is going to be a drag. And then our 25 headshots, and then we'll have Orion for it and Polyatomic. But also they did fix Polyatomic. And by fix, I mean they reverted it back to like the default version of it, like the original version that we all know and love. Uh, it still moves a bit, but it's back to the black secondary color with, uh, you know, the little triangle accents in there. But for now, I'm going to be using Red Tiger just uh, for a little nostalgia. Also, the battle pass is out as well as the black cell little upgrade thing. Uh, personally, I would not recommend getting a black cell unless you want to, you know, spend some money, you know, spend your money how you want. But it just gives you alternate versions of like skins that are here in the, the battle pass. I don't think it's that worth it. But it did help me get to the intervention faster, which was nice. But besides that, I've gotten probably three battle pass tokens in the, like the three hours I was playing the update. So it seems like the, the rate that you get battle pass tokens is really, really slow because I haven't even gotten close to getting the next uh, battle rifle yet. And we finally have the Alejandro and the Valeria uh, operators as well. But that's enough talk. Let's go ahead and hop in and try to get these camos done. So to start us out here, we're playing on the new map, a lighthouse. I think it's Polito's lighthouse. It's basically like a state. They have like the same building from a state. The layout's a little different. But uh, personally, I think this map is a little big for 6v6. They did remove shipment, which sucks. You know, you got to be used to that by now. Every update shipment's going to be gone. You know, just got to be prepared for that. But there is still 10v10s and 10v10s on this map is fun. I think this map was more made for 10v10s because this map's just giant. I, I can hardly find anybody in 6v6 on here. But just for the sake of showing you guys, we'll, we'll play a quick game on it. There we go. There's our first kill. The interventions felt really good so far. This has been the best part about the update. The intervention feels fast. It feels like it gets kills real easy. This is probably like going to be like my favorite weapon in the game. It's been a lot of fun to use. I haven't found the right build for it yet, but it seemed like no attachments on it might be the way to go. Also really quick, I want to apologize if you hear like a, a slight echo. Uh, I just moved into my new house. I'm in my new office. I don't have anything up for uh, sound yet. So it... The sounds are going to reflect a little bit, but hopefully I'll have this fixed in like the, the next few weeks. And also the background isn't really filled out yet. I, I'm still unpacking, but uh, we're kind of going in right now. Quick little five times. We need to work on getting our double kills. I think our kills will all focused unless we already have that one done. And our one shot one kills, which should just come easily. But yeah, look at this. This is the, literally a state. We're finally back here. It's about time they put something Modern Warfare 2 related into this game. Even if it's, this isn't like the, the best version of it. Honestly, this recreation, this reimagining of it is fine, but it seems weird how slowly we're getting actual Modern Warfare 2 content. There was a few changes to the movement. I, I feel like there's less penalty for taking movement options. Like you can shoot a little faster after a slide or a mantle. Like you're not punished as much. It's not, it's not like an insane difference. Like you're not going to see people being like movement you know, gods now. There's no slide canceling or anything that I know of, but it's definitely an improvement. Uh, I think this update was a little overhyped. A lot of people are, were saying like, this is going to be the savior to the game. Like this is going to change the game entirely. I don't think so. I, I just think it's okay. Uh, from what I'm hearing, more of the big changes we're going to be seeing are to be at like season three reloaded and season four. So at least I, I hope they're telling the truth there. But I guess we'll see. Time will tell. And there's, there's a few issues at the moment. Like people aren't able to like get the battle pass or their battle pass isn't working so a lot of people can't even unlock the intervention which really sucks i feel like that's like the main driving point behind this update or this season that people are excited about is to get their hands on the intervention again and then also the ranked play has been delayed like they're not adding rank play in yet so hopefully that gets fixed and we get that 
we get the game mode back fast because I, I like ranked. I, I want to hop back on there, but it's just not here right now. They also added in like some bundles to the store. First of all, there's a really dumb one, like the bunny that has some bunnies is an Easter one. We're already past Easter, but that one just looks hilarious and I might pick it up because it's stupid. But they added in some bundles that are like pay to win for DMZ. You get like an extra, I forget what it's called. It's like an operator slot. Like the, they changed how DMZ works, at least for some things. Like the, the UI all looks different in there. Like you have specific, almost like classes but for operators in buying certain bundles you get like items like you'll get a, a free medium backpack for whatever that's worth but also it lowers your uh insured weapon slot time to like 15 minutes so i don't understand why they're adding stuff in the game in terms of like gameplay changes like the the lower insured weapon slot time and things like that into bundle rewards instead of like unlockable awards something you can work towards the main reason i don't play dmz is i have nothing to work for I have nothing to work towards because I could care less about having extra insured weapon slots, especially if I'm not playing it already. And if people can literally just buy a bundle and get them, like what's the point of me grinding it? That's like adding in Orion as like a bundle. Ooh, quick collat, eat that. Like what, what would the point of grinding for Orion be if they just had a bundle where you can just buy, have the camo on every weapon? So I already wasn't too interested in DMC. I'm less interested now. Feels kind of dumb to do something like that. Why can I move? Ooh, barely got that kill before the nade went off. Also, I haven't seen the marksman rifle yet. Like I mentioned before, like it, it takes so long to get battle pass tokens. So I don't even know if I have it unlocked by today and I had a head start on the battle pass. So I have no idea if that's even good. I hope it is, especially since they're only giving us two weapons to start here. We are getting two pistols at season three reloaded. It'll be like a full auto deagle and a tech nine and those will be fun. But season three reloaded isn't for a long time. And this is kind of like uh, a little disappointing of a season update day. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was scary. I was not expecting them to just vault right over that at me. Also, really weird part about this map. Like, you can see like a, a ship out here in the water. You think, oh, that's like a cool part of the, you know, outside of the map, a little world building. Guess what? You can actually go out here. I don't know what their fascination is in this game with being able to go in the water, but you can go right over here. I don't even know why. I'm pretty sure in Hardpoint, there's a spot right there on the ship. Outside of that, what's what's the reason to go out there? Also, the water looks like Minecraft right above the waves. I honestly don't understand why they keep making maps this big. Like, they'll they'll do a little nostalgia bait, you know, throw in the intervention, throw in, like, the estate building. But then they'll make it so you have to spend your whole time just wandering around the map like you're doing a tour. Hardly ever getting into, like, any engagements. Like, I've just been wandering here. But there is one good thing about this update. We'll probably see it later. But when you actually get a camo unlock... It'll show what the camo looks like. You know, before it was just like a trophy and then they changed it to like a ribbon or some shit. But now when you unlock something, it'll show like what camo you got, the name of it and everything. So that's pretty cool. It's about time they got to it. Three seasons in. Did we even get any camo progress this game? Uh, we kind of did. Yeah, we need 20 more kills while focused and a bunch more one shot, one kills. Time to hop into 10v10. This is what I was talking about with the DMZ bundles. Right here, you can get an active duty slot, which is something new they introduced to probably just sell this. And you get a faster insured weapon cooldown. I don't understand why they're trying to add pay to win stuff to this. People are begging for more stuff to do and unlock and they'll just do that. But also, here's the dumbass bunny that I'm actually considering buying because the COD points are already in the account. Yeah, the money's already spent. I might just get silly with it. Also, let me show you the inspect really quick. I actually think the inspect's kind of disappointing, mainly because it won't look too great for a thumbnail. So kind of a personal opinion, but not the greatest inspect. Repeak, come back. I just want to talk. Okay, never mind. I think spawns are flipping. We'll talk later. Ooh. 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 Reload, no! Oh. You know, I'm taking off the carry handle and I'm putting on the speed rechambering bolt. We need that. Sit down. Oh, what? There we go. Damn. Oh, this is what I'm talking about when I say this gun is fun. This has got to be my favorite weapon in the game. Oh, that should have been a clout right there. Come on, baby. This gun's sweet. There's no sniper in this game that can compete with us now. Someone's going to be like, well, actually, the blah, 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 blah is better. Guess what? Don't care. This one's fun. Oh, come on. Hit a shot. Hit a shot challenge. Oh, there it is. So we got our one shot, one kills done, and th there you can see that the camo actually popped up. So you've seen that diamond type shape before, but now it's just filled with the camo. 
which is, is that's about time. Like I said, I'm glad that it's here, but why did it take so long? Just a quick little image. I don't think it, it would have been that difficult. I don't know. I'm not a game dev. Also, no hate to the dev. There's also a whole publisher behind them that is pushing for certain things. Not This is not their fault. Do not send any hate to the devs. Oh, that's what I'll do to people if they, they send hate to the devs. They'll get clipped. Oh, except for this guy. What's a hit marker? How? Must have just shot a nut hair off. Give him a quick shave. A little Brazilian. Damn. We had 35 kills that game. That's not bad. More kills than we'd be getting in a 6v6. That's for sure. Oh, we just need two more kills while focused and we can start working on gold. Let's go. That should be our camo right there. Go ahead and show it. Don't be shy. I was focusing for those two shots. Or was I? The world may never know. What about right there? Had to be, right? There it is. Perfect. Now you can work on gold. Ooh, eat that. Ooh, that should be progress right there. There we go. That's another three. Ooh, the flinch is crazy. I got hit by one bullet there and my scope jumped. So that could be the one thing that makes other snipers a little bit better than it. If they have more flinch resistance, but I'm sure you can throw on some attachments for that. Oh, that's three right there. Ooh, another double. We're on a fiver. Could have been a six. There's the six. Ooh. No, we could have kept going. That could have been a nine. Come on, make this three. Nope. 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 Gotta stay alive. Almost. Almost. That's three. A hit marker. Bloodthirsty, come on, one more. There we go. Oh, that was insane! What the fuck? Nasty. Come on, one more. We gotta, we gotta get a three times off that. Fuck. Sit down. Also sit. Anyone else want to have a seat? There you go. Oh, there's gold. Let's go. Now we just need long shots. That's gotta be one. Twenty-four more to go on the worst possible grind. I hate long shots so much. Just got a notification for a tweet from Treyarch saying that range play is now active. So it was only down for a few hours, but uh, I had a lot of people asking me that during the stream. Let's see if I got my ranked rewards. Okay, made it to plat two. There we go. We got our operator skins, an emblem and a charm, and we'll be starting at gold one. So you go down one division when you start. The camo does not look good though. I'll tell you what, especially if it says this on it and that's not a sticker, that's awful. Oh wait, there's two camos. Oh, this is just a pro issue. Oh, so that's what it looks like. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. We just have to get 100 wins again, but that's uh, a task for another day. Ooh, the intervention looks nice in gold. That's a long shot. That should be one, but it was a hit marker. I really hate long shots. This shit takes forever. Let's do this. One. Two. Ooh, skip a few. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez, platinum takes forever. That probably took like 45 minutes just for 25 long shots. Now I need headshots. I don't know how that wasn't one, but that one is. It's so ridiculous the roadblock that long shots is because they're not even difficult. It just takes so long to do. It really puts a damper on the grind. And now we're just racking up headshots. We're insane. What? How is that not a headshot? Either way, we got to be close. I'm feeling less than five away. Oh, okay. So we're not less than five away. We are exactly five away. Okay, this has to be the game that we get it done. We don't have that much more to go. Oh, geez. Starting off strong, eating a nade. Oh, damn. That guy got crimson. Guess what? Dead. Don't matter. Ooh. Oh, that guy was in diamond. Guess what? Still don't matter. Whatever your rank is, I'm still going to get camel progress on you. Ooh. Come on. Is that it? That's the rank up. There's polyatomic. No. Okay. At least we still got to see it. I'm backing out of here. We're done. We're done. I think we have everything done. Let's see. Let's double check. Yes, sir. There was no Orion pop up though, which is weird. Maybe I backed out too early, but would be cool to see Orion pop up. But anyways, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. Now, moment of truth. Did they ever fix hardcore in private matches? Um, 
Kinda. I mean, there's still some HUD, but there's just no mini-map. Why does there have to be a HUD here? All right, well, let's just go where the lighting's good. So this is what the intervention looks like in-game with Orion. We'll give it a quick little inspect, even though it's not the greatest animation. You can see it up close and personal here. This weapon just looks really good, and it's been a lot of fun to get done. This has got to be my favorite weapon in the game now. But anyways, there you have it. We got the intervention done day one, and this has got to be the best sniper in the game, at least in my opinion. It's the most fun to use. But uh, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the season three update. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. My balls are pulling up with sweat. It's like 80 degrees in this room. I got to figure out how I'm going to cool it. But uh, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.